Andy Katz here with NCAA.com and March Madness with this man right here. He is a baller. Jordan Ford from St. Mary's. Uh, two nights ago, you had 42 in a double overtime win over Pepperdine. You hit the game winner with about 1.5 left. You finished with 18 points. Uh, if there's any closers in college basketball, if you talk about any, you got to mention this man right here, Jordan. Uh, with that kind of situation down where you know you need a bucket, mm -hmm. seven seconds, I think, when you came out of the timeout, what was the play coming out of that timeout? Uh, the play was just to get out the way and uh, clear, clear my path so I could kind of break my guy down one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and everybody was telling me, you know, get to the basket, try to kick out, or because everybody's going to converge. But, um, you know, I knew I kind of wanted to get to a jumper. And um, so I got him downhill a little bit and was able to stop on a diamond pull up. Yeah, that's what I love. I mean, a lot of times people want to go to the rack or hit the hero ball three. But you love the mid-range shot. Why? Um, well, a lot of teams scout me either three or going all the way. And I've made that mistake um, too many times uh, over the years just going in trying to uh, get a contested layup or something like that. So um, this time I, I learned from my past mistakes and um, knew they weren't going to try and play my mid range. So um, I was able to get it off. I mean, this was a high, high level game. And, you know, I, I got to want I mean, look, we know the rules with BYU. They don't play on Sunday, they don't practice on Sunday. That's why this tournament takes Sunday off. I'm curious. You guys play late into the night, Saturday night, double overtime. Mm -hmm. What would it have been like if you guys had to turn around? on a Sunday afternoon or early Sunday and play after what you went through Saturday night? Uh, it would have been a lot more difficult. You know, uh, I was coming off playing 50 minutes and um, you know, we lost an hour of sleep. So um, if we would have had to turn around and play on Sunday, uh, then being fresh, I think, it, I think it would have been a little different, but you know, we got tough guys, so we would have uh, competed either way. Yeah, this seemed like a Randy Bennett St. Mary's game, 51-50. How much did this game define what you guys are about and keeping a high scoring BYU team down in the 50s. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's a little different. They, they have a really high-powered offense, and uh, you know we were able to bottle it up a little bit. Uh, some of that's us uh, playing good defense and then missing a few shots. But um, you know, we, we didn't feel like we played that well offensively, so uh, we need to clean that up before before tomorrow. All right, Gonzaga mm -hmm. rematch from last year's yep. championship game, where they were the massive favorite, and you guys upset them, mm -hmm. got the AQ. You don't have the same pressure this year. <clears throat> I mean, I would assume, I think everyone assumes you were going to be in the NCAA tournament. Right. Uh, you just came off, obviously, losing to them at home on their senior night. Mm -hmm. So what's the approach here, you know, maybe comparing from last year, where there's a little more desperation to what you're going into this title game? You know, we're just trying to take it one game at a time, and uh, our goal coming into the tournament, not to focus on, you know, the NCAA tournament, just focus on, you know, winning the championship, just focus on, uh, playing it one game at a time. And uh, we've been getting a feel for him. Uh, we obviously got blown out at home and then uh, we got a better feel for him the second time. So hopefully the third time, third time's charm. All right, awesome watching Jordan Ford perform. A closer that you have to remember right here from St. Mary's.